everybody welcome back to some player cottage crochet this is sarah this is the tutorial for the tunisian basket weave stitch this i have in front of me is the corner of my giant blanket and um this is what the overall stitch pattern looks like it does look a bit like a you know basket weave <laughs> so we're going to be using tunisian simple stitches and tunisian pearl stitches so there are some repeats that need to be kept in mind. So you basically just do, um, it's a four row repeat and it's also a multiple of four, but technically eight stitches. So you do two rows of Tunisian simple and then you'll do two rows of pearl. And it looks like three here, but that's actually part of the pearl stitch. So um, in any case, if you know how to do those two stitches, then you're golden and you just need to know the repeat and you'll be ready to go. If you need a little reminder, well, you're gonna get to see it in this video. If you don't know how to do those, you need to go back to my other videos that cover those two stitches individually. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to figure out the multiple. I have chained up 16 stitches and if you want to follow along with me, go ahead and chain 16 and then come back to the video. So per usual, I'm going to work in the back humps. You don't have to. I'm going to work a normal foundation row. So I'm just going to gather up each loop. Now that I've gathered up each loop, I'm going to chain one, as we always do for my left edge stitch and complete a normal return. By yarning over and pulling through two all the way down. If you need help remembering how to do the basic foundation row, please go see my introduction to Tunisian video and that will explain it to you in much more detail and be a lot slower. For the first of the four row repeat, because we never count the foundation row, unless of course you start the stitch pattern in the foundation row, like say a half double. We will begin with the Tunisian simple stitch. So the loop here does count as a stitch. So this is like technically our first Tunisian simple. So I'm gonna go under the next bar, the next three bars and gather them in the Tunisian simple stitch way. Now I'm going to do a purl, so I'm going to scoop up, release, and then work four purl stitches. That's your first eight stitches. If you count the loops, you have eight loops. All right, so we have four simples and four pearls. So now we need to start that over. So I need another four simples. And this time we do work all four. And then we do four pearls, except we have an edge stitch and we're going to leave that as a regular. So we're going to work the three pearls. And one thing I could note is that if it bothers you to start with three and end with three, um, then you could add two to your foundation chain so that you have a right edge and a left edge stitch. And then you therefore have an actual four of each one. This is just the way it's been written for eons. And I would have to agree it would be much more symmetrical that way. However, it doesn't look, um, it's not noticeable, in my opinion. Okay, so now we just work a normal edge stitch. You could work a pearl edge if you really wanted to keep it in line, but it will make it harder to work into later. So, now I've gathered up everything. I'm going to chain one, and then we're just going to work a normal return pass all the way back. We have our first row of the four row repeat complete. And now we're just going to repeat that last row we just did. So again, this is going to count as our first 
stitch so we do three simple stitches it'll be easier to tell what to do this time because you're copying what you did last time and we're going to scoop up and do four purl stitches So now we have our first eight once again. And so now I'm going to go back and do the repeat again of four simples. And the last three pearls. Now we're going to work our edge just like normal, normal edge stitch. Okay, now I'm going to chain one and complete my normal return pass once again. So now we have rows one and two of our four row repeat completed. Now we're going to change it up because we do need to alternate where our stitches are going to get the appropriate look. So we did start with simples, now we're going to switch to pearls. And again, this is going to count even though it's not wrapped like a pearl. And again, you could always do a multiple of four plus two. Okay, so now we're going to scoop up and work three pearls. And now we're going to work four simples. And there's the first eight. Now we're going to go back and repeat that enough but we're going to do four pearls and there it is and you can start to see the pattern change already i'm going to work a normal edge stitch chain one and work a normal return pass so now we have three of our four row repeat completed and we're going to work the last row as a repeat of row three. So I'm going to do the first three purls. Whoops. And then four simples. And there's your first eight. Now I'm going to work four pearls. And the last three simples. Now I'm going to work a normal edge. And I will chain one and do my normal return pass. And I'll meet you at the end and we'll work on the bind off. So now that our four row repeat is completed, you would start all the way over with row one, once again, which is the first of the two rows of simple stitches, followed by pearls. And then when you get those two done, you'll start back with row three which starts off with pearls and then does simples and then complete row four the same way and then start all over with row one again. So again, that's the repeat. So once you complete the fourth row, then you start over with row one. To do the bind off, you have some choices. You can continue with the stitch pattern. Um, let's say you didn't complete your fourth row so you need to continue on doing the same stitches or you can alternate them if you're starting over with a row one um but i highly recommend just doing a tunisian simple stitch bind off because pearl stitches tend to kind of mush so you end up with a wavy top and if you don't want that then just do what i'm about to do so i'm gonna do a Tunisian simple stitch bind off, which is just pulling through everything. So you're gathering the loop and you're pulling it through everything to bind it off, to close the gaps. And I'm doing that all the way down under every bar. I 
I'll work a normal edge stitch bind off as well, same thing. And then I chain one to secure and fasten off. So that is the basket weave pattern. Remember, it is a four row repeat. Row one begins after your foundation row, and it will start out with simple stitches. You'll have two rows of simple stitches, and you'll change up to purl stitches. So you'll start out with purls, and then you will switch back to row one after you've completed two rows that start with the purl stitch. We have the written pattern available both in PDF and on the blog, along with a good photo tutorial to go with it. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope you like this stitch pattern. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, leave a comment if you like, and hit the little bell icon to be notified anytime we upload a new video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.